Good evening and welcome to Saturday Evening Prayer for the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the, this evening our prayer is the prayer of Vespers, commemorating the third Sunday. So let us begin by lighting our candles this evening to thank Almighty God <clears throat> for all God's blessings and abundance on the Teo community and especially upon the Frank Clara Abbeys for the US and the UK and just to say Father Mother God you are a millionaire and you know the needs of your children as they try to gather and form a community in America with Brother Matthew as their assistant abbot soon to be their abbot and here in Cumbria where so many from the community want to come and stay but we're limited with space and room but we know Lord that you have shown us somewhere very special and it would be a wonderful wonderful place as a mother house to welcome our brothers and sisters on retreat or on a holiday or to just come and chill and experience your love in this sanctuary of hope, as Sister Mary put it in Michigan. So we give you thanks, Lord Jesus, for your divine abundance and blessings upon each one of us who've surrendered our heart to your love and to follow in your footsteps with that of Francis and Claire in living and leading the simple life. Amen. And welcome to our dear sister Linda and to our dear sister Sue and to those who've not logged in, welcome. And I know Brother Cadge is there, but not logged in. So welcome dear Brother Cadge and Sister Paula in lovely Finland a place I would love to go, but maybe in my next life, I might be a reindeer or a grizzly bear. So we come, we break bread together in the presence of Jesus in the blessed sacrament behind me, next to the statue of our blessed mother holding the child Jesus. So we ring our bells, from our little monastery here for unity and peace in this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help us. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> and our hymn this evening is from the Divine Office, <clears throat> excuse me, for week three. Week three of Ordinary Time. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Right. O light serene of God the Father, Mother's glory, to you, O Christ, we sing, and with the evening star at hour of sunset, our worship bring to Father, Mother, Son, and God's most Holy Spirit, eternal praise is due. O Christ, who gave your life, the world gives glory and thanks to you. The first antiphon, from the rising of the sun to its setting, great is the name of the Lord. And now we read Psalm 112. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be praised and blessed, both now and forevermore, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Praise be the name of the Lord. High above all heavens is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, 
who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his own people. To the childless wife he gives a home and gladdens her heart with children. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, great is the name of the Lord. And the second antiphon, I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our next reading is Psalm 115. <clears throat> I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise and I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people, O precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I, you have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make, and I will call upon the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. The third antiphon, Excuse me, the Lord Jesus humbled himself, but God exalted him on high forever. And our next reading is a canticle reading from St. Paul to the Philippines, chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant and being found in human form. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed upon him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God our Father, Mother. Let us now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and he became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. And now we have a special reading for this third Sunday of Ordinary Time. Oh no, we don't. Forgive me. It's just the Magnificat. The reading is from Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 20 to 21. I pray the God of peace, who brought our Lord Jesus back from the dead to become the great shepherd of the sheep by the blood that sealed an eternal covenant may make you ready to do his will in any kind of good action and turn us all into whatever is acceptable to himself 
through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. At the short responsory, how great are your works, O Lord. How great are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have made them all. How great are your works, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. How great are your works, O Lord. And now for the Magnificat for the third Sunday of Ordinary Time. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom of God and cured those who were in need of healing. And now, my dear friends, I invite you to join me for the Magnificat, the beautiful canticle of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him, and he puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant. That's you and me, and all of us here, who've surrendered our heart to God, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in this beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now we repeat the Magnificat Antiphon. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom of God and cured those who were in need of healing. And now we come to our evening intercessions. Christ our Lord is mindful of all who need him and does great things for love of them. Let us not be afraid to ask him for all our needs. Response, show us your loving kindness. Lord, we know that the good things we have received today have come as a gift from you. <clears throat> May we receive them with thankfulness and learn how to give. Response, show us your loving kindness. Saviour and light of all people, keep missionaries in your special care. May the light of your spirit burn strongly in them. Response, show us your loving kindness. Grant that the world may be filled with the knowledge of your truth. Help us to carry out all you've called us to do. Response, show us your loving kindness. You heal the sickness and pain of your brothers. Bring healing and comfort to the spirit of all men and women. Response, show us your loving kindness. Give rest to the faithful departed and bring them to praise you in eternity. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now let's for a moment just come into the real presence of Christ. Not only is he behind me in the Blessed Sacrament in that little black box, in a beautiful silver with gold inlaid pigs, there is the host, the bread that was consecrated at Mass. And that we Catholics refer to as the real presence of Christ, the body of Christ. So in his presence and in the presence of Christ in you, we come as God's beloved children and we bring all our requests to him. So let us just be still. <clears throat> Be still. Close your eyes. 
your eyes while the summer clouds release their silver glow and the evening rain makes patterns on the road the world is clean and evergreen close your eyes Close your eyes, let the moonlight lay his hands upon your head, and the silence hold you like a feather bed, and let the day just melt away, close your eyes. As we relax in the presence of our God, a God who has many names and none, we come as a child of God. We come in our brokenness, in our woundedness, in our sadness and in our joy, 
and we just say, Lord Jesus, you know we love you. Otherwise we would not be here. But as we are here, we come in faith, in truth, with hope in our heart. And we present ourselves to you and we ask that you again lay your healing hand upon us and refresh those parts of us that are in darkness, <clears throat> those parts of us that are hurting, discouraged, anxious, or maybe fear-ridden. And we bring whatever is ailing us by naming it, by blessing it, and releasing it to you, Lord God. And we leave it with you in a mindset of gratitude. And we keep saying thank you, Lord God, for answering our prayer. But give us patience to trust that our prayers will be heard when we are ready to receive them. So as we sit here or where you are in the world, just allow yourself, be aware of the presence of Christ. Be aware of his love his gentleness, his compassion. And do not be afraid to ask the Lord back into your heart. And now visualize him standing before you as he comes towards you with the healing oils of spikenard, the oils that Mary Magdalena used on his feet to prepare him for his ordeal, his crucifixion. And as Jesus places the healing oils on your crown chakra, on your forehead, on your lips, on your throat, on your heart, and now on your hands. He's doing this to celebrate your gift of self to him and that you will always know that you are a beloved and protected child of God even when the enemy of God strikes at your heart, you are protected. And that no harm will come to you unless you dilly-dally and play games with the evil one by trying to process what that's all about. So take heart. The Christ has anointed you with the oil of gladness for you to celebrate your divinity as a child of God on earth who's passing through, who's passing through. This is not our home. Our home is in another dimension where God is. But we ask for the grace that we need to get through this life, but not under sufferance, but in joy. So let us now bring each and every one gathered here with all your requests and those whom you love who need prayer, let's bring them to the Lord as we bring <clears throat> all our religious leaders and politicians and the current state of America right now 
where the senators couldn't come to an agreement and left all the public servants working for a day without pay. How scandalous is that? But we pray that all our prayers will motivate them to act honourably with integrity and to stop playing games with people's lives. But we pray for unity and peace in the Cathedral of God. And we pray for all God's children of all faiths and none who are struggling at this hour, the homeless, the elderly, the vulnerable, and for those who are about to cross over to their God, we pray that they have an easy passage. We remember this evening Christian, who's still mourning the loss of his beloved Claudia. We pray for Kaj and Paula. We pray for Brother Matthew and the community in America, for our brothers and sisters there. And we pray for our brothers and sisters here. And we pray for God's special blessing of abundance on our new project that was shown to us 12 years ago. But we dismissed it. And then it comes back. So we say, Lord, not our will, but thine be done. So let us now pray a prayer, Christ's prayer, the Lord's prayer, but let us do it together. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us at this hour our daily bread. Forgive us our indiscretions our lack of faith, our lack of trust, our lack of vision, our lack of hope. Lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And so be it. And our closing prayer <clears throat> for the third Sunday of Ordinary Time all-powerful, ever-living Father, Mother, God, direct our steps in the way of your love so that our whole life may be fragrant with all we do in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. So be it. And now we come to the close of Evening Vespers and we pray, Father, Mother, God, you have called each one of us here by name. We thank you for your abundant blessings to our mind, our body and spirit. But we give you thanks for blessing all the brothers and sisters of our community around the world and upon the Frank Clara Abbey Project for America with Brother Matthew and here in Cumbria and wherever else you lead us, we say, Lord, thank you for your blessing and for your encouragement and for bringing to the community the skilled volunteers that we need that will help us to bring your vision into a reality so that your children can come and sense a sanctuary of hope. Amen. Say, so blow out this light. I give thanks to God for you and for God's blessing upon you and your family and loved ones. Amen. So we go in peace to love 
and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, paxet bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace from the Queen of Peace, from the Son of Peace, become our peace as God's prayer partners for peace. I wish you all a pleasant evening, and I pray that wherever you are, you're safe, you're protected, and know that you're loved. Till we meet again around this table of joy. Blessings from Cumbria.